everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. This is actually, I, I shouldn't really be saying welcome back because this is technically my first video. But today, uh, we're going to be going over the free-to-play uh, patch stuff. It hasn't come out yet, but I'm, I'm just going to make an estimate right now. I think it's going to come out August 31st because one, that's the end of the Rocket Pass. That's the end of the competitive season. And three, since it's the end of the competitive season... You could, I, I bet, transferring accounts, if you want to get it, if you, like, I'll explain later. But, anyways, let's just go through this. So, it says, Rocket League is going to free-to-play this summer. Speed into the next chapter of Rocket League for free. The high-octane hybrid of arcade style, blah, blah, blah. So, it's coming for free. Basically, what they first announced is that it's not going to be available um, on Steam anymore, but people who did buy it on Steam will still be able to launch it from the app. But new players who are going to get it for free-to-play are only going to be able to download it via Epic Games or Xbox or PlayStation or Switch. So that's basically just all they're saying. So, uh, first thing, right in, bam, updated tournaments. So I'm actually really happy about this. Um, I don't know... How it's going to be fixed, I think it's just, like, bugs and glitches, but, um, it's going to be cool to see how it, it's going to work out, like, if you can add, like, double elimination, like, RLCS style, or the old RLCS style, because, uh, RLCS 10 is not going to be like that, which we're going to talk about here in a moment. Uh, the revamped challenge system, Rocket League challenges, are expanding, introduce new weekly and season-long challenges to unlock free items. I'm pretty sure either this is going to come with the Rocket Pass. We already have Rocket Pass challenges. Like, we've had them forever. But I think these are just going to be in-game challenges. So, they're not going to come with the Rocket Pass. They're not going to come with anything. They're just built inside the game. So, the legacy status is incoming. So, basically, if, you've ever, if you're an owner of Alpha items, which I still should be, but... <laughs> I'm kidding. No. But if you're an owner of Alpha items, then you probably know what we're talking about here. But the legacy status is coming, meaning instead of, like, limited, common, uncommon, stuff like that, we're gonna have legacy. So anyone who has played Rocket League Online before the launch of Free-to-Play will receive all Rocket League branded DLC plus exclusive items at launch. So, what this is saying... They'll receive all Rocket League branded DLCs, so we'll, my estimate, my, my guess is that we're going to be receiving every DLC, meaning we're not going to have to buy it, so we're going to be able to get cars like the Skyline, the Batmobile, the McLaren, and stuff like that. I don't know if it's going to be those cars, and maybe not just like the Proteus, stuff like that, like the Trident, because those cars that I just listed are licensed by a company like the Batmobile, the Skyline. They're all licensed, licensed. So I don't know how that's gonna play out. And also exclusive items at launch. This is basically the equivalent of Alpha items. I don't know if you're gonna have to do challenges from like invite ten people for Alpha Boost, but this is the first one right here. It's the Faded Cosmos. My opinion is I I kind of like it. I mean I feel like. I bet the sound is gonna- it's gonna sound cool, but, I mean, did they have to use the hotshot for this? <laughs> is my question. Um, here's the Golden Cosmos, so this is basically the new Alpha Boost. This is, like, Titanium White Alpha Boost, I'm kidding, no. But, this is the Golden Cosmos right here. Um, it's basically the equivalent of Alpha Boost. I kinda like the design of it, I love the color, by the way, but I don't know how the boost is gonna look. Um, and then we got- these really sick wheels, the Dicey Oros, meaning uh, gold Dicey because Oro is like the gold god or something like that. That's what I've been hearing. But uh, Dicey Oro wheels, basically they're just golden Diceys uh, established 2015, you can see. And then you got a little checker flag and the Diceys. So these, these in my opinion, is probably going to be my favorite item. Are they going to be expensive like, act, like the Goldstone wheels? Heck no, because already there's 15 million people that have already bought the game. Fifth, or no, like 75 million people. What am I talking about? Like 75 million people who have already bought this game. And it's they're going to receive these items. So pretty much, if you want to trade these, they're most likely just going to become free. 
Because I don't see a reason why you would need to sell these for a thousand dollars like the Goldstone wheels. Because the reason why they're so rare, or they're so expensive, is because the uh, Goldstone wheels are extremely expensive. That's the only reason why they're, um, they're so expensive. Okay, while editing this video, I don't know what the hell I just said there. Basically, the Goldstone wheels are expensive because they're rare and almost nobody has them. That's what I was meaning to say. Not, they're expensive because they're expensive. I don't know what the hell I was saying. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. We have the Huntress player banner. So if you haven't seen the Huntress series, uh, I think it began in Rocket Pass 5. It started with the Octane. Then we got the Breakout. And then in the new Momentum series, we got a Fennec decal. All of those were decals, by the way. But now we have a player banner named Huntress. And I kind of like it. Um, it'd be cool if you could change, like, the middle color and then the secondary color and not just have it be one thing. And then the next thing is player title established 20XX. This will, the XX, um, is gonna display, like, when you got the game. So for me, on PC, it would be 2015. I'm pretty sure, yeah, about 2015. And then on Xbox, I think it'd be, like, 2017, 2018. Um, but I haven't bought it on any other console because, well, I don't have any other console. So, I'll receive all these items on two. So, that's kind of the benefit. And then, yeah, that's that's all the items. In my opinion, I'm going to rate these a six. Honestly, I think they could have done better. I think the Dicey's, that's that's kind of a good idea. But, they're not going to... If, if you're looking to trade them, then again, these items might not even be tradable. But... You know, if you want to ever trade these, then I I guess they're going to go for like 100 credits because nobody's really going to buy them. Um, and yeah, I think the two best items is the Golden Cosmos and the Dicey's. Um, just uh, because. <laughs> Anyways, your Rocket League progress is on all platforms. So once Rocket League goes to free to play, you'll be able to bring your inventory, Rocket Pass progress, and any competitive rank to any platform where you play Rocket League through an Epic Games account. More information coming soon. So, basically what this is meaning is every on every console that you own, or every platform that you own Rocket League, you'll be able to sync it all up via one Epic Games account. So, basically, down here, as you can see, I Steam Rocket League. Um, if you, if you want to transfer your Xbox item, like, I have an extremely large inventory on Xbox, even though I kind of gave it to my friends, because right now there's no point, but this is before the announcement, but you're basically going to be able to take your entire inventory from Xbox and put it onto your Steam account and sync them both up, so when you trade on Xbox, that'll also go to your inventory on Steam. So... It's going to be interesting how that plays out. I think there's going to be some glitches where everything, like, gets corrupt. Like, if you trade and choose to be on both platforms, something may happen, like your whole inventory gets deleted or something. Or, when syncing your Epic Games account, it syncs it the wrong way. And then your, your $1,000 inventory in Rocket League that you had for years and years and years is gone. So, I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I don't know if... If anything, if, if any of that's going to happen, I bet it will. But, you know, Epic Games does have a history because um, uh, Fortnite exists. Um, but, yeah, we're not going to read through the FAQs because you guys can do that all on yourself. Um, and, yeah, um, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. All I wanted to do was just break down these patch notes. or It's not really a patch now, but... Um, just break down everything that's going to go on. And, um, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy and want to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe. And if you liked the video, press that like button. And if you didn't like the video, then I just walk away. Because I need statistics. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.